Hello everyone, welcome to this new video on backward chaining versus forward chaining by Simply Learn. To stay updated with our content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. Imagine you are solving a mystery in the world of computers. Backward chaining is like starting with the answer you want to find and figuring out the clues that lead to it. On the other hand, forward chaining is like starting from the facts you already know and using the rules to uncover new information. Both techniques are like paths that computers take to solve problems. One starts with the goals and find the path to it, while the other starts with what it knows and keeps adding to it until the solutions become clear. These strategies make AI systems smart and capable of cracking integrated problems. The job opportunities in machine learning are as wide-ranging and abundant as the technology applications. The average annual salary for machine learning engineer is $140,000 in US and in India, the average annual salary is 20 lakh rupees per annum. On that note, if you are an aspiring AI ML engineer, then there is no better time to train yourself in exciting field of machine learning with our Caltech AI ML Bootcamp in partnership with IBM. This course covers everything from fundamentals to advanced techniques like machine learning algorithm development and unsupervised learning. This AI and machine learning bootcamp in collaboration with Caltech will help you advance your career as an AI ML specialist. The AI ML bootcamp includes the live classes delivered by industry experts, hands-on industry relevant projects and master classes by Caltech professors. Key features of this amazing machine learning course include 22 C's from Caltech CTME, online convocation by Caltech CTME program director, Simply Learn Career Service helps you to get noticed by top hiring companies, earn a bootcamp certificate from Caltech CTME, industry relevant capstone projects in three domains, Caltech CTME circle membership, 25 plus hands-on projects across industry verticals and integrated labs. So why wait? Join now, see it's up filling fast. Find the course link in the description box. So without any further ado, Let's get started. What is backward chaining? Backward chaining, backward deduction or backwards is also a reasoning method that acts in the reverse direction to forward chaining. The top-down approach involves using decision or goals to reach the facts. The backward chaining is the backtracking process of finding usage in diagnostic, debugging and prescription. Here is a simple real-world example of backward chaining. Scenario, diagnosing an illness. Here we have a goal to determine if a patient has a flu, rules and facts. If a patient has a fever and body aches, they might have the flu. If a patient has a runny nose and cough, it could be a cold. If a patient has a fever, they might have infection. If a patient has body aches, it might be due to physical exertion. In this example, let's say we start with the goal of determining if a patient has a flu. So how does the backward chaining process works? Look at rule 1. The patient has a fever and body aches. At rule 3, the patient has fever. Look at rule 2. The patient has runny nose and cough. This rule doesn't apply. Look at rule 4. The patient has body aches. Based on the backward chaining process, the evidence suggests that patient might have the flu because of a fever and body aches. This is the chain of reasoning that leads to the conclusion that patient could have flu. In essence, backward chaining starts with the desired outcome and traces the path backward through rules and facts to find supporting evidence. It's commonly used in diagnostic systems, troubleshooting and other scenarios where the goal is to determine the causes or conditions that lead to a specific result. Moving to the advantages and disadvantages of backward chaining. Advantages of backward chaining. Backward chaining offers optimal resource usage by efficiently concentrating on essential laws or requirements for goal achievement, resulting in time and computational savings it's goal-oriented, commencing from predefined objectives and tracing back to identify relevant supporting situations or rules. Additionally, its adaptability allows easy customization across various applications, showcasing a broad range of problem-solving capabilities. Disadvantages of backward chaining While employing backward chaining for problem-solving, 
It functions unidirectionally, potentially lacking the ability to generate innovative solutions or insights not explicitly programmed. There are instances of limited exploration where it may yield incomplete outcomes and overlook comprehensive solution exploration. Additionally, conflict resolution can be challenging with backward chaining, especially when reconciling discrepancies or clashes among various laws or facts. Let's move to forward chaining. Forward chaining, forward deduction or forward reasoning is a method involving inference or logical rules, facts, for data extraction. It is a bottom-up approach performed redundantly to reach the endpoint or goals. It begins with evaluating existing information followed by manipulation based on the knowledge base. The existing information can be as facts, derivations and conditions. Let's move to a real world example of forward chaining. Here we have a scenario of diagnosing an illness. We will consider following facts. Patient has a fever and patient has body aches. So let's look at the rules. If a patient has a fever and body aches, they might have flu. If a patient has a runny nose and cough, it could be a cold. If a patient has a fever, they might have infection. So how does this forward chaining process works? Start with the available facts. The patient has a fever and body aches. Apply rule 1. The patient has a fever and body aches, suggesting they might have flu. This conclusion, might have the flu, becomes a new fact. At this point, forward chaining process has derived a new conclusion based on the available facts and the rules. The process could continue with additional rules and facts to derive further conclusions. In essence, forward chaining begins with the known facts and applies rules to generate new information or conclusions. It's often used in systems where initial data is available and the goal is to deduce new information or outcomes based on the data and predefined rules. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of forward chaining? Advantages of forward chaining Forward chaining demonstrates its efficiency by leveraging existing facts or conditions to achieve solutions, potentially resulting in time and computational resource preservation compared to alternative methods. Its flexibility shines through its adeptness at tackling various problem types and its simplicity of adaptation for differing goals. Furthermore, due to its capacity to swiftly deduce conclusions from a given set of facts or conditions, forward chaining is particularly suitable for real-time decision-making situations. However, it's important to consider the potential disadvantage of forward chaining. So here are a few disadvantages of forward chaining. Forward chaining may exhibit partial exploration, leaving some potential solutions inadequately explored or generating incomplete results. The method's limitation is considering only current facts or conditions might result in an absence of a global perspective, potentially leading to inaccurate conclusions due to a lack of broader contextual understanding. Furthermore, handling conflicts within forward chaining, especially when faced with inconsistencies or clashes among multiple facts or rules, can prove to be challenging. Now let's see the major difference between backward chaining versus forward chaining. Backward chaining and forward chaining are two distinct inferences techniques used in artificial intelligence and expert systems for problem solving and reasoning. They differ in their approaches and how they derive conclusions and available information. Here's a comparison between two. Backward chaining starts with a specific goal or conclusion and works backward through a set of rules and facts to find evidence or conditions that supports the goal. Forward chaining starts with known facts or conditions and uses rules to derive conclusions or reach goals. It iteratively applies rules to known facts to generate new information. Backward chaining is commonly used in diagnostic systems, troubleshooting and scenarios where the goal is to determine the causes or conditions leading to a specific outcome. Forward chaining is often used when the initial data is available and aims to deduce new information or outcomes based on that data and predefined rules. Backward chaining can be efficient when goals is known and the system seeks to establish the reasons behind goal. Forward chaining can be efficient when the initial data is rich and the system seeks to infer new information. Backward chaining is typically more directed and efficient but might not explore all the possible solutions if not guided properly. 
blockchaining explores new conclusions as they have become available potentially exploring a broader range of solution but it might not be directed if not properly guided and with that we have come to the end of this video on backward versus forward chaining i hope you have find this information valuable do check up postgraduate program in ai and ml in partnership with purdue university and collaboration with ibm to upskill yourself in thrilling field of machine learning don't forget to check the course link in the description box let's take a minute to hear from our learners who have experienced huge success in their career you need to keep updating your skills the course material was comprehensive and the faculty was extremely experienced uh, the faculty was able to adjust their teaching style in order to cater to the overall skill set of the class in the rapidly evolving world of technology it's important to keep up skilling for every working professional stay relevant continue learning please ask any questions about the topic covered in this video in the comment section below our experts will assist you in addressing your problems thanks for watching stay safe and keep learning Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.